All right, joining us first is uh, Skylar Fontaine. So uh, we'll open the floor for people that have questions for Skylar. Hey, Skylar, could you just break down that first goal? You know, what you're seeing on the ice there as you skate coast to coast past everybody? <laughs> Yeah, um, I passed it up to Chloe Arard and I saw that there was so much space. So I took it and she gave it right back to me and I just kind of took off and was on a sort of a breakaway. Skylar, you've had a, a, lot, a lot of physical games these past few games, you know, the hockey's championship against Providence, this one today. How did that stretch in the hockey's playoffs, particularly that championship game, how did that prepare you for that next step of physical intensity that Robert Morris brought today? I think it prepared us by reminding us that we need to move our feet and never stop moving and just keep our um, heads moving forward and pucks moving forward and just communication was key. And I think that helped a lot throughout both games and especially this game. Tyler, it looked like at the end of the second there, a pretty big wave of emotion for uh, Alina Mueller, the penalty, and then grabbing that goal pretty quickly after. Did you get a chance to, to talk to her at all going on uh, for that last 10-second uh, shift you had there in the Ozone? No, I didn't get a chance. We just um, talked about a quick play, and she's very in check with her emotion. So I um, knew she was ready to get out there and see what we could do in the Ozone, and she ended up coming up with a big goal. So that was awesome. How big was that goal for you? You know, obviously scoring at the end of period is big all the time, but after giving up the power play goal, how does that change, you know, the, the message in the locker room and your momentum going into the third? I think it was great because we, I think, had a little bit of frustration after the penalty. And um, I think it was great to just get everyone's minds in the right mindset and on a, end on a positive note and take what, how we ended the period and take it into the third period. So Skylar, obviously you guys have had plenty of hockey East success in the past few years, but this is kind of a, a new step. How does it feel in the locker room to, to finally get this NCAA tournament win here? It feels great. Our whole locker room was so excited and we can't wait to move forward and we're just going to take one day at a time and hopefully do well this upcoming game. You know, you know, adding on to that, this is the first NCAA tournament when you've had first time the program's gone to the Frozen Four. For you, especially as a senior, you know, with four straight hockey championships, how, how have you felt this program grow and seen it grow since you came in as a freshman? Yeah, it's been amazing. Honestly, since I've been a freshman, we've grown so much. We've come so far. And I think that a lot of time and effort has been put in, especially this year with everything being so unpredictable. And I think it's just a great feeling to come out here and everyone play with the biggest hearts and me as a senior, this is just a great experience and I'm grateful for it. And hopefully we um, do well on Thursday. Sorry. Okay, I think that's, that's uh, all for Skyler. So we'll let Skyler step away and uh, we'll introduce uh, head coach Dave Flint. So, Coach, if you want to start us off with a statement on the game, and then we'll open the floor to questions. Sure. Um, first off, uh, congratulations to, to Robert Morris on a, on a great game and a great season. Um, they worked extremely hard and, and gave, us, gave us a good game. So, uh, congratulations to them. Obviously pleased with our first trip to the Frozen Four. Uh, thought the team played really well. Um, in all zones, we thought we we executed. Um, thought we were pretty solid defensively, and um, just a, a huge win for for Northeastern women's hockey. Coach, you mentioned before the game that the seniors leader, the seniors and juniorships that leaders um, really helped in this big game. You know, helped guide the younger players through this big moment. Now you guys are venturing into unexplored territory. You know, what are you guys doing to keep everything calm and make sure that this team can play at its best in a big game? Yeah, I think, I mean, just like you said, you know, what we have, we have some senior and junior leadership, you know, it's not their first rodeo and, um, you know, they, they're confident in each other. And I think that gives some confidence to our younger players. And, um, you know, I told them before the game today, 
you know, you've, you've done everything you can to prepare for this moment. So we're ready for it. So nobody should be nervous. And um, it's the same thing on Thursday. Like, you know, it's like a test in school. If you, you know if you prepared for it or not, right? And uh, they've, they've done a great job preparing for this and um, there shouldn't be any jitters or anything like that when we come to Thursday. Coach, how'd you feel about the, uh, the aggressiveness in your players and in, in the Robert Morris end in terms of, of getting to the net? It kind of play, especially the, of the top six group, reminded me a lot of uh, some of the games where you talked about these players being kind of sharks around the net. Yeah, we, we definitely had that going um, today, and that's what we need. When, we're, when we play like that, we're really good. When we're, we're, we're hungry for pucks and we're hunting pucks down and we're aggressive around the net, you know, we're, we're successful. When we start to go perimeter and we don't want to get into the dirty areas, you know, we're, we're very vanilla. So, you know, it was great to see, and uh, that's something that's going to be really important moving forward. Coach, uh, you, you mentioned before the game that, you know, this game, it, your team plays a lot of speed. Robert Morris is slower, more physical. How did you feel your skaters did? Obviously, there were a lot of great plays that showcased their speed. But overall, through the course of the game, how did you feel they did with, you know, setting the tempo by establishing themselves on the ice? I thought we did a pretty good job. I thought, you know, we were in, I thought we did a good job in transition. Um, one thing we could have done better was, uh, I felt like the first period we were turning over too many pucks in the neutral zone. And um, instead of getting pucks behind their D and using our speed, we were trying to skate through, you know, their players, or we just weren't handling passes that were on the tape. And I felt like we cleaned that up and got a little better with it. But, um, you know, Robert Morris is actually, I, I, going in, I didn't think they were going to be very fast, but they're, they were deceptively uh, quick on pucks today so um they definitely made us work coach it was a pretty wild sequence there at the end of the second the quick goal the power play goal from rmu the, the quick response uh from alina could you talk a little bit about that sequence just kind of what was going through your mind during those final minutes yeah that, i mean that that tells you the, the uh, makeup of our team so you know some adversity uh I know Alina wasn't thrilled with the call and, you know, then on the power, you know, on their power play, we block a shot and it, it goes right on their kid's stick who hammers a one-timer in the net, you know, so all of a sudden you got a little adversity We're we're in, you know, we're cruising along and then all of a sudden it's two to one, um, you know, but they didn't, they didn't hang their heads. They didn't, you know, complain about it. They just went to work and they popped one in at the end of the period there and, and got that goal back. So, um, it's a it's a credit to the to the players. Coach, you said there for a second, Alina wasn't like super happy with the call, what have you? Uh, how much more exciting do you think that might have made that goal? You being able to one to get that goal there before the second for her. Yeah, you know, I well, I told her on the bench. She came off and you know, she was talking to me about. It. I said, hey, listen, it's it's done now. I said, now if you're upset about it, go score a goal. And guess what? She went and scored a goal. So. Um, you know, and, and that's the thing, like, she's just a competitor. She wants to do well. So, uh, you know, she just bared down and she's like, all right, I'm going to go get a goal. And that's what she did. We have time for one more for coach if, uh, if we have it. All right, if not, thanks coach. Congratulations on the win. And uh, we'll see you again on Thursday. Thank you.